We grind hardened steel and sometimes use CBN and sometimes use aluminum oxide. We get pretty much the same material removal rates, surface finish is about the same, and cycle time is about the same. So we're wondering if it's really worth it to use CBN. Our biggest issue is burn and we try to avoid it. We notice power is slightly higher with the CBN wheel, so we think, well, maybe we should just go with the aluminum oxide because it's giving us less spindle power. What's your take? CBN grits are different from aluminum oxide grits, and the difference you hear talked about the most is basically that it's harder. CBN is a lot harder than aluminum oxide, so it wears away less quickly, so wheel life is longer. And of course, you've got the issues with consistency and dressing and how many parts you can grind before you need to dress the wheel, et cetera, et cetera. One of the things that people forget is the difference between aluminum oxide and CBN is not the hardness, but it's also the thermal conductivity of the grits. And this really is a big issue that uh, people don't talk about when they talk about the benefits of CBN. During grinding, a certain amount of the grinding heat that's generated in the wheel workpiece interface goes into the chips. A certain amount of heat goes into the coolant. A certain amount of heat goes into the wheel. And whatever doesn't go into the chips or into the coolant or into the wheel goes into the workpiece. We want less heat going into the workpiece, obviously. And the difference between aluminum oxide and CBN is that CBN has a much, much higher thermal conductivity. What that means is that when an aluminum oxide grit rubs against the workpiece, almost all of that heat goes into the workpiece and only a small fraction, maybe 10 or 15 percent, goes into the aluminum oxide grit. When the CBN grit rubs against the workpiece, that CBN grit sucks up a lot of that heat. So instead of sucking up only 10 or 15 percent the way aluminum oxide does, it sucks up 60 percent of the heat with only 40% going to the workpiece. Any heat that is not going to the workpiece, instead going to the grit, that's good. We want less heat going to the workpiece, more heat going to the grit. So in general, if you generate, let's say, 10 kilowatts of heat during grinding, eh, maybe eight or nine kilowatts of that heat is gonna go into the workpiece. With CBN, if you generate 10 kilowatts of heat, well, because so much heat is going into the wheel or to the grit, a lot less heat is going to the workpiece, so the workpiece is getting maybe four kilowatts of the heat. Nine kilowatts of heat versus four kilowatts of heat is a huge difference. In fact, that'll more or less cut the temperature in half. Remember, power and heat go hand in hand, heat and temperature go hand in hand. So you say you get slightly higher heat generation with the CBN wheel than you do with the aluminum oxide wheel, but when you consider that that CBN grit is sucking up a lot more heat than aluminum oxide grit, it's almost certain that even though you're getting slightly higher power, you're almost certainly getting a lot lower temperatures. Now, that's good in your case because you want to reduce burn. If you're not that concerned with burn, well, you can increase your material removal rates. Power's gonna go up a little bit. The amount of heat going to the workpiece is gonna go up a little bit. But you can use the benefit of the CBN grits to get the temperatures down and therefore you can use that benefit to give you higher material removal rates or if you want to keep the same material removal rate use that benefit of the high conductivity to give you lower temperatures in your workpiece with the CBN.